Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I was doing in Nashville, Tennessee, and I am back at the Blackheart Citadel. I better chug this fire potion before things get hairy. And I think that I need to get up to here in this uh, keep and look for the wool there. So that's what I'm about to do imminently. I figure this should be my last video if everything goes well. If everything goes poorly, it might not be my last video. Or it might really be my last video if it goes so poorly that I somehow actually perish in the attempt to make it. Now, I've chugged a fire potion. I should be fine. There's definitely a doorway through there. That is where I believe the actual keep is going to be. That's just, like, essentially the only thing in this map that I haven't seen yet. So, I figure I'm just going to go for it and hope that I'm right. And if I'm not, then we will reevaluate. Wow. Having a speed potion should help you jump higher, I, th I think. Oh, good. There's, like, no blocks up here. Uh-oh. Luckily, I got some blast protection on my armor here. Let's run around real quick, and let's blow that up. Boom. One less thing to worry about. Okay, now this seems to go down. Uh-oh, maybe there's a whole nother cave down here. You know what? I've got blast protection. I can withstand the one guy. Boom. Withstood. Uh-oh. Another one there. Well, he took that out. One less thing to work. Come on, really? Well, this is just getting ludicrous, but... It's not so ludicrous as to be impossible. And they're definitely clearing out their own spawners in this way. So, can't really complain on that count. Wow! Come on, bitch! It's really... This is just, it's not unfair, because I have enough armor to make this livable through. Oh, that's where it starts getting unfair. Luckily, I've got this, uh, fireproofness, but still, that's bad. Okay, well, that was clever. I was just gonna say, this doesn't seem to be much of a hook, it's just a bunch of creepers. Uh-oh. Now it's a room full of monsters and a bunch of creepers. Um... Technically, I can live through almost anything at this point. Police box, please, please, please don't fail me now. Red wool. Red wool. Is there anything else in here? Is this, like, just a huge room full of spawners? Where's my way out? Up here. Okay. Up we go. Thank you for wiping out that so it's easier for me to climb out. Boom. Red wool, and it was not destroyed by creepers. It was not destroyed by me. It is just red wool, and it's quality, and delicious, and I'm excited. And I'm gonna probably po chug this potion of swiftness in a minute, but I think I'm okay here. I think that I may have actually gotten all of the wool in this video. Or at least I believe that now. I might be about to be disproven on that count. Okay, so I think I can just drop down onto these shelves here, or something. Well, iron pick, or... Diamond pick, don't fail me now. Ah! That was, that was actually surprising. But, once again, by this point, I'm essentially so powerful. I'm essentially so powerful that nothing can really challenge me. Including you, bitches. Including you. So, I would say, overall, here's my quick summary or wrap-up of this map. You start off a man, and you become a god. And that makes the end of the map, in a lot of ways, more easy than the beginning of the map. However, it makes it really kind of rewarding and fun to watch yourself on this ramp. Um, it's almost more like an RPG, where you would start off and you're like, Oh no, a monitor lizard. It's level 3, and I can't possibly beat that. But then later on you're like, oh, I'm level 12. Monitor lizard? Yeah. Whatever. Smart. And, uh, there's enough cool architecture and puzzle elements throughout the rest of the map. That, and also, if I hadn't used those potions, like, figuring out what potions to use in what place is a bit of a puzzle element. But even when you become a super overpowered godlike creature, there's so much cool stuff to look at, there's so much cool stuff to explore, that it stays fun, and in some ways becomes more fun, because it's less stressful, and then when you do get overwhelmed, though, you get super overwhelmed, 
So I totally give this map like essentially a, a perfect score. Like there's almost nothing that I dislike about this map that Vitches has not changed somehow in between the version that I'm playing and the uh, next version that y'all get. The released version fixed the mindless wandering forever in the uh, rumbling caves. He added a visual cue there. And that was the only real problem I have with this map. He also made the uh, Rattlebone Crypts a bit higher up, so that way you don't have as much of a fog layer and you can see how cool everything is better, which is the only complaint I had about that area. So here we are, back at the Victory Monument. Got my sign, my torch, and my red wool. And so, boom, red wool. And we found that at the... Dang it, I have a hard time going from playing games to typing. It's just like different parts of my brain. At the lava level, under the Black Heart Citadel. Done. Light it up. So here we go. We have gotten all 19 victor blocks. We have become flame reproof. Flame reproof. We have reproved flame. We have fought back zombies, fought back monsters, fought back vitches and his deviousness. If any of y'all have not played this map yet, go download it, play it, you'll love it. Even if you've watched me play it, Vich, uh, Vich changed a few things between my version and the final version. And believe me, you'll just have a blast. It's, it's a great time. So anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring and Merry Christmas.